as part of the town of Wawarsing in Ulster County, New York, with a current population of 4,000, the village of Ellenville nestles in the Rondout Valley and is flanked to the west by the lower Catskill Mountains and to the east by the Schwangunk Ridge, which the Nature Conservancy has named one of the last 75 great places on Earth. Ellenville has a rich and important history, beginning as a tiny hamlet at a crossroads above the floodplain where two mountain streams converge. This small village grew out of this location near the surrounding abundant forest, which was burned to fuel the glassworks that rose beside the D&H Canal in the 1830s. In the mid-19th century, Ellenville glass bottles went west in every settler's wagon. Ellenville grew from a road stop, named whimsically for young Ellen Snyder, to a small industrial town in the 1840s. That small town has been up and down the economic roller coaster ever since. By 1900, the glass works was long gone, as was the tannery. So was the canal. The age of the railroad brought with it the era of the mountain houses and summer visitors. The Terwilliger House, the Wayside Inn, Yama Farms, grand summer resorts rose across the valley and up on the Schwangunk Ridge. The ultimate in the series was the Nevely, to which famous comedians, wealthy holiday makers, and even a president of the United States came to stay. Combining with this came another burst of industrial activity. In particular, a local family fathering the TV antenna industry. Starting in the post-war period, the Resnick family grew Channel Master into a serious industrial entity controlling the market for TV aerials in the age of early television. And Channel Master was based in Ellenville. While that was happening, the summer resorts had morphed into the Borst Belt, from the Neville to Grossinger's, the area boasted dozens of hotels and hundreds of bungalow colonies that drew a largely Jewish population in the summer. In the era of cars with fins, when baseball still ruled the U.S. sportscape and Eisenhower was succeeded by John F. Kennedy, Ellenville was the most prosperous little place in the region. But the roller coaster continued on. In 1967, the Great Wayside Inn, an anchor in the village's downtown, burned to the ground. That unfortunate fate struck so many great hotels in that era, and the rise of cheap air travel spelled doom for the rest of the resorts. With that decline came other jolts to the local economy. Channel Master was sold, and then the factory was moved to South Carolina and cheaper labor. Imperial Schrade, a famous maker of knives with a century-long history in Ellenville, took over part of the big factory while an aluminum smelter soon occupied the remainder of the building. But the economy was now moving in a new direction. As shopping malls arose, first in Middletown, 25 minutes away in Orange County, then in Kingston, 40 minutes in the other direction, one by one the shops, the boutiques, the five and dime stores shut as their clientele was lured away. The village lost its glow and the economy dimmed once more. The changing tastes of the 1980s and 90s completed the downward part of the cycle. The resorts died, even the Neville eventually succumbed, and the bungalow colonies lost their appeal. Both factories closed too. Many of our unique historic buildings and our residential houses began to fall into dilapidation and disrepair. However, even as the previous era's prosperity evaporated, a new development was changing the mix in the region. Weekenders, city residents eager to experience those same mountains, hills, and forests as their forebears, began visiting more. County officials looked south to the 20 million people living just 80 miles away in the largest city in America. They began serious promotion of Ulster County to those millions. Rail trails that began as dotted lines on maps have now become real attractions. Second home buyers became an obvious part of the population, and to serve them, restaurants sprang up and Ellenville developed a whole restaurant row. 
culture began to vie for the slot of local industry with theaters and art galleries centering as attractions. That change has focused minds on the big gap in the local hospitality industry, lodging. There is precious little in the way of overnight lodging to be found. But the area needs a motel or a hotel which can be an expensive proposition. And as can be seen, the existing motels we do have are in urgent need of an HGTV hometown takeover makeover. But there is already a growing Airbnb presence in the area, a sure sign of increasing interest. The natural beauty of the Schwangunk Ridge and the Catskill Mountains are drawing visitors on an upwards trend. With help from the HGTV hometown takeover team, Ellenville would be poised for another upswing on the roller coaster. Because Ellenville is a real place with a passionate and proud community. It has shops, restaurants, Shadowland stages, parks, and looming above it, the Schwangunk Ridge. People who might want a walkable weekend home with great hiking nearby and shopping, groceries, theater, and even a Walmart can find all this and low real estate prices too. Meanwhile, some of the weekenders are turning into weekers who live here and go to Brooklyn on weekends. A new era is dawning and Ellenville is ready for the sun. Hi, my name is Jeff Kaplan and I'm the mayor of Ellenville. I would just like to thank the HGTV Town Takeover team on behalf of myself and the village community for taking the time to consider our submission. Thank you.